The role of uh, technology um, today is helping people execute their challenges in design and in construction today. With the lack of the ability to find new people and keep people in the industry, technology attracts more people, younger people into the industry, and then it also starts to help them execute. So I'll give you an example. In the old days when you're starting to set out for a building, you would use a tape measure and a string. Today you have robotic total stations that cut that down from having a team of three or four people to having one person. So right away you can use the existing people you have but reduce the number of people executing on that work. The technology also helps people execute more accurately um, and at a faster pace. With the complexity of designs today, the old string and tape makes it very difficult to execute with. So technology helps guarantee that accuracy and also to be able to do it in a manner that they can also share that information with other people. As you are using the technology, everything is being recorded and then that information then can be shared. So that helps in the way of scheduling, cost estimation and also final execution. I would say one, people is uh, a big challenge today, uh, the lack of those people. I would also say the, the pace that um, construction has to go at today, if you take an example, a data center uh, has to be built. The owners of those data centers want that data center to be up and running as quick as possible. So they have very tight schedules and they make their contractors adhere to those schedules. So if you're working on a job like that, the only way to meet those schedules is to actually adopt some technology to do that. Yeah, so uh, Trimble Products, I would say the first thing that we do is we look at the workflow that any company has to do to execute a job. And so we try to build in those workflows into the software that is controlling the devices they're using, such as a total station or a GNSS receiver or 3D scanning. Things like reality capture uh, is helping to democratize the data that's being captured on the job site. So you can scan the whole site you can share that with multiple people that are trying to execute on the job and it helps make for better decisions and faster decisions on the job site. Yeah, I think this is where actually our Building Point Channel partners come into play. My suggestion to anybody wanting to get into new technology is to come up with a plan, work with their local Building Point to then slowly execute. So I'd say don't take huge steps, take small steps at a time, and then you get confident in using that technology. The ability of our building points is being able to supply that technology, being able to train those people and support them in the field. And so that gives them a leg up uh, over other people wanting to adopt technology because they can help them through the process. Yeah, so uh, product roadmaps are an interesting one. The way we go about it is we're looking for where are the holes and the steps that are missing in the workflow? We adapt those through um, definitely software iterations, um, multiple per year to keep up with that. And then new technologies, they take a while to develop. Look at our existing technologies and how can we improve those? So can we make 3D laser scanner faster, lighter, smaller? Can we adopt the workflows? Tablets in the field, people are wanting to process data in the field, so more powerful uh, processes, better graphics. Uh, in those products. So without being too specific, we're always developing and building the next generation of products.